Hi everyone, <laughs> this is Sun Young from Lamar Beauty, and we have a special guest, West, aka my husband here with us. And welcome to our massage for neck pain and headache, where we'll be incorporating gua sha and acupressure technique that you can easily follow along at home. This massage can be done for your loved ones and also for yourself as well. So before we begin, we're going to check in with our posture here. So whether you're standing or sitting, just really try to stand and sit tall here. Lengthen your spine. Your neck is long in line with your spine here. And your shoulders. Do a little shoulder rolls here, back and down. Opening up your shoulders and your chest. We have a tendency to hunch forward, so this is a great way to counteract that movement of hunching and just settle down here and try to tuck your ribs in here and your tailbone down especially if you are standing this will help protect your lower back and your chin slightly tucking towards your chest and soften your facial expression here just relax your forehead, relax and soften your gaze, soften your jaws, slightly unhinge your jaws and relax the tongue from the roof of your mouth and slightly lift the corners of your lips here. This will help really help lift your mood, your emotions and your energy just from doing a little smile on your face. And now we are going to do some deep cleansing belly breaths here. So you can place one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly and just gently close your eyes here. And we're going to do three deep belly breaths. So inhale deeply through your nose. And out through your mouth, side out. Let it go. Two more breaths here. Inhale. Side out. One more, your longest and smoothest. Inhale. In, out through your mouth, let it all go. And just allow your breath to do its thing. And gently open your eyes here. Feeling the connection to your body and your breath slowing down <sighs> then we're going to prep the skin for the massage for neck pain and headache here for us we're using nourishing scalp and body oil you don't have to use the same product like we are here you can always use what works best for you for us we're using one pump for the scalp and for the neck here. For you, you can use half a pump and if you need more, you can always use more. So just listen to your skin or your loved one's skin and adjust accordingly. And we always recommend doing this massage on clean skin so it works best after a shower. So I'm going to get one pump here for West's head and his neck here like so, and gently rub it in between the palms. And we're going to begin the prep here. Gently massaging all over the scalp here. 
Doing this will really help enhance the glide for your gua sha tool and also improve the blood circulation. The front of the neck as well. Like so. And now we have clean gua sha tool here for the massage. So first we're going to start with the back of the neck here. So West will turn around so you can see the back of the neck here. And holding the tool at this angle here with the groove, parallel to 45 degree angle to your skin here. And then we're going to sweep it all the way across until you hit the base of the skull here and use those two grooves to apply acupressure here. So these points feel amazing when you have a lot of neck tension. So, and make sure you check in with your loved one here and ask how it feels. How does it feel, West? Feels great, maybe a little bit harder. A little more pressure, okay. So really adjust the pressure here. And if you're doing this for yourself, just listen to how it feels for you and find the pressure that feels good. And then we'll do two more here. So starting at the neck at the bottom here, and then glide it across and then apply acupressure at the base of the skull here. And just breathing and releasing any tightness, any pain, tension here. And one more, like so. Applying acupressure. You can wiggle it back and forth or make nice circles here. See what feels best for you or for your partner. And now we're going to do the sides next to it here. So I'm using the same grooves right here and then place it like so and then do the side next to it. And this time we're focusing more on the groove on the left side here. And how does that feel, Wes? Good. Good. And just really releasing all of the blockages that get stored up here and bringing awareness to your posture. And we're going to do two more here, like so. And wiggle back and forth. Or it can simply be just the pressure, but I find that wiggling it back and forth really helps release the tension here. And one more. You can always do less swipes or more. It really depends on you and your partner, but doing it at least three swipes are very helpful. But as always, even one swipe is helpful if you're really busy. Then we'll do the side along the neck here. So just moving along. So right here, we're going to put the tool parallel to 45 and gently swipe it across and apply acupressure here, like so. How does it feel there? Good. Good. And two more here. Like so. And one more. Normally this massage is nice when you have like a chair that you can sit down with back support. But for this video, we did this so that 
we can show you how it looks on the back side as well. And now we're going to do the right side here. So holding the tool like so, and we're going to gently do the side next to it and focusing more on the right groove here and applying acupressure like so. And two more here, like this. And making sure to breathe from your belly here. And one more, like so. And we'll do the side next to it here. We're going to do it along the side here. So holding the tool like so, and we're going to gently apply some acupressure, focusing more here. And how does that feel? Good. Okay. And two more here. And one more, like so. Releasing and healing here. And the back of the neck is done here, so we're going to do the front of the neck. So we're going to do the front of the neck area here. So I'm going to just have West go tilt his head a little bit. And we're going to place the tool now, this time like at this edge here, and placing it parallel to 45 degrees, and gently sweep it across to the top. And at the edge here, wiggle it back and forth. And two more here. Like so. One more. Like so. And we'll do the side next to it here. So parallel to 45 degrees. And gently sweep it up across and wiggle and two more here wiggle and one more for road swipe and for the area near your center here we're going to use more of this side here the bigger groove area and placing it parallel to 45, gently run it along. And at the edge, wiggle here. And two more. And for men uh, with the Adam's apple, just be gentle around here. One more. Like so. And release. We'll do the other side here. So. I'll have Wes tilt and holding the tool like so, this time on this edge here. And we're going to gently glide it across and at the edge, wiggle here. Two more. Feeling relaxed. And care for. And we'll do the side next to it. So right here. Like so. And two more. Like so. And one more. And we'll do the side here using the bigger groove side. Like this. And wiggle here. So wiggle. Like so and wiggle. 
and then do some shoulder rolls here checking in with their posture you can do half circles with your neck or full circles depending on your neck mobility and we'll do under the chin here so using the tool the this side here we're going to place it gently and then run it along and at the edge wiggle here and two more this is great for preventing double chin as well one more and at the edge just wiggle here and last if you want to maybe just turn around slightly so we can show you the movement for you so like this and then glide it across and at the edge we're doing a little motion here and apply acupressure like so then we'll do the other side here so using this side of the groove here the bigger groove placing it parallel to 45 more parallel this time here and then just glide it across and at the edge make a little movement here and wiggle just releasing what no longer serves you and two more here like so and wiggle and breathing deeply and one more like so and at the edge wiggle here and release and now we will do the jawline here because we carry a lot of tension in our masseter muscles and if you have a lot of tension here that also pulls on your head and also your neck as well so if you can release the tension here that also helps relieve the tension that you carry here and also on your neck as well everything is connected here so we're going to be doing some jawline with the focus on the masseter muscles so holding the tool like this here and we're going to place it parallel to 45 and gently glide it across here like so and at the edge we're going to apply some acupressure right here on the masseter how does that feel mm. If this area is really tender, you can apply light pressure. So just really honor yourself here. And release. And two more here. Like so. And at the edge, apply acupressure. and just really breathe into it here see if you can release and soften to allow the healing to take place and release one more here like so and apply acupressure with motion here as you get more comfortable here you can build up the pressure and release mm -hmm. you can always uh, open your mouth like what Wes did here like nice and slow to help release it and allow the fascia and the muscles to integrate the healing here so we'll do the other side here 
So the jawline, we're going to use a tool like this and placing it parallel to 45, glide it across and at the edge right here, you should feel some like resistance, some bunching here. They also call it adhesion. So just when you find that spot, just try to apply some acupressure here and wiggle it or make gentle circles to release. And making sure to breathe here and bringing awareness to your posture. And two more here, like this. Apply some acupressure, like so. And release. One more here. You can always go back and forth a few times to find the spot that gives the most resistance, like we did here, and apply some pressure. And release. And you can gently open your mouth slowly and close it slowly to really release here. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to focus more on the side of the neck here. If you run your finger along the side of the neck, the side of the neck right here, there's a lot going on here. And we carry a lot of tension, a lot of pain in this area. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply the tool like this, like this part here, and run it down like this three times here. How does that feel? Mm -hmm. Good. You can apply more pressure for more relief, but as always, light pressure is best. And then just build up the pressure here. And then after a few times here, we're going to apply. Let's see, I can just run it along and then feel the pressure right here. How does that feel there? Tender. Tender. So this is a spot that we're going to focus on right here. And if you just switch, so it's about in this area here, and apply some acupressure. And what I'm going to do is I have another gua sha tool here and apply the second acupressure point on the temples here. And just gently apply acupressure in these two spots at the same time here. As always, you don't have to use gua sha tool like we are here. You can use your thumb to apply acupressure like this. But we find that when you use a tool like this, you don't have to apply as much pressure on your joints. So just Putting some acupressure here, releasing any pain and tension we tend to carry on our temples and on our neck here. And then release. And then we'll do the other side here. On the side of the neck right here, when you run your fingers through this area here, you'll notice that there's a lot of bunching in this area. So we're going to place the tool like this, this side here, this side, and then run it along. Light to medium pressure here. And how does that feel, Les? Mm -hmm. Good. It feels amazing when you do this for yourself too. And then after a few times here, you can 
go down like this and find the spot down somewhere in this area here you can apply some acupressure right here how is that spot there it's good you can feel it pulling on the temporal right here right there mm -hmm. yeah so we're just applying some pressure here and i'm going to just have Wes turn around more forward is that the spot for you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like this time mark yeah and then we're going to use the second gua sha tool to place on the temple here is that a good spot there? Mm -hmm. And then apply acupressure on these two spots at the same time. Allow your body to recover and heal here. All of the areas that we're applying acupressure it really provides a lot of relief as for the neck and for your head as well. And then gently, we're going to release here, breathing and do a little gentle neck circles, whatever calls to you. When we do this kind of healing modality like massage, your body will speak to you. So just honor yourself here. And now we're going to apply the acupressure between the brows. We carry a lot of tension here and that also pulls on all of these areas as well. So using the two grooves here, we're going to place them gently between the brows like so. And apply acupressure here for this acupressure point i find that just applying the pressure without movement feels really good but you can always wiggle it back and forth a little if you would like do what feels good for you and for your partner And release here. And now we're going to drain it all down towards our heart for the lymphatic drainage. So we're going to place the tool like this part here. And then placing it at the edge, we're going to sweep it down towards our heart here. Like this. about three swipes each here or more feels really good the other side like so like this and then we'll have Wes turn around to do the back side as well so gently gliding it down here like so gliding it down and the sides next to it and then we'll do this side here so gently gliding it all down And we'll turn around back to the center here. And for your gua sha tool, you can clean your gua sha tool with warm water and soap for your next massage for neck pain and headache. You can always store your clean, dry gua sha tool in our Lemore Caring Pouch for added protection and portability. So I'm going to put that aside for now. And we'll do a little head massage here. 
wrapping it up. Do a little head scratching with the soft pads of your fingertips here. And gently in circular motions. Feeling lighter and more relaxed. <sighs> and now we're going to do some massage for your neck and your traps here using your elbows. So gently and run it down the neck here and your shoulders. Running it down to the edge here. And then what we're going to do is just brush off everything energetically here. What no longer serves you, leaving your body. All the stagnant energy. Letting it all go. Shoulders feeling lighter. And now we're going to wrap up with some gentle stretches here. So you're going to place one hand over your head, gently like so, like Wes is doing. And your left, the opposite arm behind your lower back here, wrapped around your lower back like this right here and just open up your shoulder here your left shoulder inhaling and opening and just allow the gravity to allow your neck and the stretching to happen right here feel the stretch all along your side of the neck here and your stretch might not be as deep as west is so just Honor yourself here. It doesn't have to be as deep. And just breathe here. Allow the nice stretch through your neck. And then gently come back to the center here. We'll do the other side. <sighs> mm -hmm. And then your right arm or your opposite arm wrapped around your lower back here mm -hmm. and the shoulders opening as you inhale here and allow the stretching through the side of your neck right here this is such a great stretch to do throughout the day especially when you feel a lot of tension on your neck here and on your shoulder as well. Just bringing awareness to your posture, feeling the spine, part of this whole stretch here. And gently come back to the center, releasing. And you can do half circles or full neck circles here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to drink 
a cup of water to fully hydrate the body. So I have two cups of water here for Wes and me. And I hope you have a cup of water here as well. And we're going to drink water to help with the cleansing, the purification, and the recovery process. So cheers to good health. Nice. Well, we just showed you our massage for neck pain and headache that you can easily follow along at home. You can do this for yourself and also for your loved ones and feel amazing, especially when it comes to neck tension and headaches. So you can always come back to this video to treat yourself or treat your loved ones. And in the description below, you will find all the products that are used as well as more massage videos that you may also enjoy watching for your viewing anytime. Thank you again for joining us today. May we all be healthy. May we all be happy. May we all be peaceful. Loka Samasta. Suki no Tabantu. Hope to see you again. Namaste. Bye bye.